many have been asking this question and I think that it's about time for us to probably take the question head on and to address it and hopefully resolve some of the conflicts that people have with the whole issue and the confusion as well. Mainly it's confusion or lack of study or assuming that we are the same as others which may have certain similarities of um, certain similarities of words they may use to describe themselves or certain um, cultural historical similarities with us. When we, when we say that we're Ethiopian Hebrews some seem to think that we're saying that we are Ethiopian Jews. We are not Ethiopian Jews. The line of Jewish society is not uh, Ethiopian Jewish society. There are Ethiopian Jews and are Ethiopian Jewish organizations. Some of them we um, fellowship with from time to time regarding certain matters of, of common interests, certain common denominators, things that we share in common and we dialogue and reason with different groups. And we have worked with certain Ethiopian um, Jews, Beta Israel, as they call themselves, or Falasha, Falasha Muras. We also want to address the Falasha Mura question, the Falasha Mura, or the cryptic, the cryptic, um, the Ethiopian cryptic Jews. I think this is a very good issue as well because we came across an article, and this is bringing up right here, an article on Deutsche Welle. This Bamarinya is in the Amharic language. It says, Falasha Moran, Kalchop Yawad Israel, Le Masa Gebat, Le Mi Darago Mukra. Basically, it's translated to say that um, that the Falasha Moors from Ethiopia to Israel to uh, immigrate or enter Israel, there's a renewed, uh, or there's an effort, there's an effort, there's a Mukra, speaking about the the effort to um, import, in a sense, Masgebat, to import Falasha Muras or the Falasha Muran, Kachop Iawoda Israel, Le Masgebat Yemidarago Mukara. And it's very, very interesting because um, there are those who say, Chop Ia Yemigenu Ye Aihu de Zeria Leng. There's many thousands of them that want to go with Israel that certain of the authorities from the state of Israel from the Jebusite Jerusalem, uh, Jezreel, Jezreeli state have sent um, a delegation to go investigate as to whether there are still remaining Falashas as they are called. Now Falasha, and this is speaking to a lot of our people since we've brought up the subject matter of being linguistically handicapped, we have to understand exactly what Falasha mean. And most people only understand what Falasha mean by um, Translation, other people translating for them. But if you were to study the Ethiopic and the Gutas, you will see that the word uh, felese, uh, felese, from which felasha comes from, means one who is exiled, one who has been pushed off of their land, and one who is exiled. So a more correct translation of felasha would be exilist. So we are here in the West, the Beta Israel, the lost sheep so-called African-American and Afro-West Indians who were transported over here in fulfillment of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. We are the true Falashas of the West. We are Ethiopian Hebrews. Oftentimes the media and others um, intellectuals within this uh, Eurocentric society, Anglo-American and Jewish society, have referred to our ancestors as black Jews. So in some of the literature you would find that has been written about us and those of us who've written about ourselves ignorantly, not knowing or willing 
to make believe have written that we are black Jews or Ethiopian Jews. And we're not speaking for those in Ethiopia. We're not speaking for those who have gone to uh, the state of uh, Israel. They have enough people to speak for them and, and their issue basically gets a lot of media attention. By the media, even we address certain prominent aspects of the whole issue that comes up. However, for the most part, the Ethiopian so-called Jews don't really care or not really are not really invested in our struggle. There's a few, but overall, many of them are not invested in our struggle. You understand, as a people, many of them have bought into the make-believe lie with the so-called Jebusis and Jebusites and the Kanaanawian, who they believe are Jews are their Jewish brothers who are actually Ashkenazis and Khazars. This is all very interesting and some are even beginning to learn these things for themselves now that they're in the West, now that they are have access to the education and the media. Some of them reluctantly are beginning to learn that what we've been saying for so many years concerning the so-called Jews, European white Ashkenazi Jews are true even though they now are kind of caught up because many of them have been um, have been uh, transported to the state of Israel are indebted are all connected in the Jewish the, the, the pale Jewish establishment which is going on out there and they're caught up in the army and the war so forth and so on now we do have certain black Hebrew communities in the state of Jezreel over there such as the Benami Carter community and the African Hebrews who are in the state of Jezreel in the Demona area and those are our more our direct brothers and sisters we share more in common with that group of black Hebrews and some of them may recognize themselves as Ethiopian Hebrews but overall they call themselves African Hebrews those are our brothers and sisters more directly from this experience. They affirm our collective and common biblical and prophetic history of being Ethiopian, African, Hebrews, and the lost, once lost but now found Beta Israel. So we're Falashas in the West. We're not basically, just to sum up this point, this point is concerning certain questions that have been coming forward and assumptions that have been made that we are Ethiopian Jews. We are not Ethiopian Jews. We are Ethiopian Hebrews. And we're going to go into some more detail about the difference between so-called Jew and Hebrew. There's a big difference between Jew and Hebrew. Now, we're of the tribe of Yehuda. We're of the tribe of Judah. But we are not Jews. Jews has a whole different connotation in this modern world system. And saying in this world, Gentile world system, Jew has a whole different connotation. And it's very important that we understand this about ourselves and don't allow ourselves to continually be misnomered and misnamed and mislabeled by others while we can articulate our own true history as well as our own true culture.